sheer happiness. Let's go. <laughs> Who's lucky today? I'm going to tell you a story about our hike to Mount Aso. So we went on a beautiful spring day. This day was a little overcast, had a little bit of sunlight, but no rain. Perfect weather for hiking in the springtime. Now, to start off, I got out of the car and really had to put on new hiking shoes. Nah, just kidding, they're just regular old shoes, but good enough for this hike. Right from the beginning, we noticed there was no trees, no water, no signs of a toilet. So if you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom quick. We hiked up this mountainous area. It's very, very rocky. Well, initially you actually walk down to sort of the crater or the valley. It's beautiful. It's really just whole black sand, black volcanic rock. That area is off limits, but it's really beautiful to look at. So while you're walking towards that area, make sure you take a photo. It will be on your left. Now there is a pathway down there actually, so you can walk but it's not the path that we took today. As soon as you get past there and you go down, you're gonna head to your first rest stop. And it's really not much of a rest stop, there's just a sign, but once you get to that sign, you gotta get ready to start climbing. And we're gonna start climbing fast, because this next area has a whole bunch of rocks. It's essentially rock climbing. Super dangerous, slippery, you really gotta be careful. Follow the yellow dot and make sure when you see the red X's, don't go there. A lot of people slipped, so be very careful. Don't hold cameras, keep both hands open and make sure that your feet are steady on the rocks. Test them out each step. Take your time. Once you get past that really difficult area, you're gonna meet peak number one. It's a beautiful location to see all of Minamiyaso. There's an area where you can overlook and view down below. It's beautiful and if you're there right at lunchtime or even every hour, you can actually hear the bells from down below. Now after the first lookout point, you actually want to keep going to the second peak and that is our final destination. And once we got there, it was lunchtime. And boy, did I have a feast prepared. We had sandwiches, we had smoothies, really amazing food. It was fun to make homemade food this time around. And we even made a cup noodle and a photo at the top, of course. Ooh, look at that view over there. It's so much sulfur. It looks like snow, but it's not snow. That's the crazy thing. There's a helicopter there. Can we see the helicopter? There it oh, is. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a helicopter. If you are rich enough, you can catch a helicopter to go around. And we don't have enough subscribers, so we'll walk up our feet, which is an amazing experience too. But after the top, we went straight down. And be careful when you go down. Going up is, to me, the easy part. But going down, oh my god. So rocky and so slippery. Many people fell, so be careful. Anyways, that is the hike in a nutshell. Very easy five hour hike total. Come hike here, get an onsen afterwards, and then have a nice camp and dinner. Now we are in a small village. If the mic is good enough, I think he's catching the sound of river and the sound of small birds. 
It's really relaxing. And we drive the car from the city to nowhere. But it's very convenient. Why? Because we have Times Rental Car. You can find it everywhere. Today's video is sponsored by Times Rental Car. Wherever you are, wherever you want to go. Now, you only need the rental car. Here we go. You made money. One thing becomes two. Oh, chopsticks. You can't speak. Lots of here. Lots of apparently camping. What do you do? You're a professional camper. What do you do at a camp? Count stars. Count stars. I don't see any. By the way, today we're sponsored by the North Face. Done. It's not even slow motion. <laughs> Zizi, I love you. 